You may wind up pushing this person away. We have I love you, angry, betrayal, and reconciliation. Yeah, see, I feel like some of you are going to walk away from this person because you just feel like you can't trust them. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, it's like they do one thing and then have you believing that there's a possibility that you guys can work through this and then the next minute, they're gone. Gemini's, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your quick energy check-in reading and see what the universe wants you to know. When I was doing you guys pre-shuffle, I kept hearing, and this is why I'll never trust you. So some of you may feel like as much as you love your person, you'll never be able to trust them because of something that they did or uh, because they continue to do things to you. All right, so let's get four cards. And if I need to pull more, I will. Why is this card spinning like that? All right, so we have Vicious Cycle, Beyond Repair, 911, and Showing Their Cards. All right, so I feel like someone's about to reveal their intentions. They're going to be opening up, talking about their feelings with this uh, showing their cards here. We also have 911. I feel like someone is going to try to uh, reach you assess excessively by text or phone call or social media. It's like if they can't, re if you block this person, they may try to reach you. Um, they may try like a different way to reach you, but I don't feel like they're going to give up. Yeah, some of you feel like something, your feelings are melting away. It looks like this is an old antique sewing machine. So some of you have been with this person for quite some time. And I feel like uh, little by little, your feelings for this person is going away because you feel like no matter how you try to fix this relationship with them, they refuse to do the right thing. I feel like somebody refused to do the right thing, Gemini, but they refuse to move on. It's like they keep coming back around because we have vicious cycle here. And they promise you that they're going to change or, you know, do better, treat you right. And I feel like it, they do, but it only lasts for so long. All right, so let's see. Let's hear what messages do you have for Gemini's? Gemini's. So we got, oh, four more came out. Okay, because I wanted to pick four more, so four more came out. So we'll stop here, and then we'll get some tarot. Some of you may be dreaming a lot about this person or different things. Some of you may have had a dream, and something showed up in your dream that just didn't make sense. Normally when that happens, you're about to connect with someone in 5D. I mean, 3D, I'm sorry. You're about to connect with someone in 3D. Or you're feeling someone's emotions and they're feeling your emotions. There's some telepathic energy going on here with the uh, dreaming card. We also have intuition. So the universe is saying, trust your intuition when it comes to this person. You may feel like this person's a slacker. We have slacker spouse and tears of a clown. It's like... You feel like there's somebody who's lazy, they they lack ambition. You may talk to this person about your dreams and your goals. And they may put you down. Or they may make fun of something that you say or they don't take it serious. Somebody's going to... Um, is going to regret something about the situation or they're regretting something about the situation now i feel like when you finally put your foot down and be fed up with this person they're gonna regret like all the lies they told you everything that they put you through all right there's some um i just feel like there's going to be some regret here if not already 
I feel like some of you are reaching your breaking point with this situation. Okay. So let's jump into the tarot here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying not to shuffle near the mic because I know it's loud. So I'm trying to hold the cards back. So. Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini's? Yeah, some of you are tired of being left out in the cold by this person and you keep telling them. You feel like you can't manifest with them. You're like, the reason why things can't move forward is because this person won't change something. And I feel like they want to, but it's going to cause a lot of drama for them. It's how they're seeing it with the Nine of Swords. This person may have someone else that they're dealing with and you know about it and you're sort of waiting for them to walk away from this situation. They may tell you, oh, okay, I'm going to give them up. And they just keep you waiting. And you're like, okay, I feel like it's never going to happen. So you don't trust it. Yeah, it's what a fire sign for some of you in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You're waiting for them to change something here. We have the star reverse, the death card reverse, the seven of pentacles. Um, I feel like some of you have been with this person for a long time and you're starting to lose faith. You're starting to lose hope because you feel like they'll never change, but you, you're, you don't know if you're ready to give this up because of what you've built. You're like, I put too much work into this. I like, I don't know if I'm hearing six years for some of you. I'm hearing a 10 years for some of you. It's just been a long time. And you're questioning if this is the, the time to give up on this or should you keep trying to work at it with this person? Share what messages do you have for Gemini? Some of you are dealing with the... Oh, that card just slid right got the deck. Um, some of you are dealing with the Capricorn with the devil card here. If you're not dealing with the Capricorn, I feel like this person, uh, they feel like it's because you guys have a bond together that they don't want to give up on this. They feel like something can be worked out here. So what messages do you have for Gemini's? There is a Virgo that's extremely emotional about you. Um, or a... Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I'm seeing these two cards in uh, two different ways here. There could be a water sign where you're constantly on this person's mind and they're going back and forth. They're thinking about the situation, but you know they're in solitude. They've pulled away from the connection. This is someone also who refused to speak up about their emotions. It's like they'd rather pour their emotions out or not talk, speak about their emotions, rather. Um, you see the cup is in reverse, so that's something. I feel like their emotions are being poured out, like, um, but in different ways. Maybe they think about you a lot and they just don't say anything. Maybe they talk about you a lot to other people. But you're definitely on this person's mind with the hermit heart here. So in case you're wondering, Gemini... What messages do you have for Gemini's? I do see an offer coming in, possibly from a younger Earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. They feel like they owe this to you because they've disappointed you so many times in, in so many ways. There's a lot of heartbreak and, and sadness that they've caused. So I see this person coming towards you. But I feel like if you're gonna um if you're gonna be having a conversation with this person, I feel like you're gonna be telling them, like, you know, this is why I can't trust you. There's so many things that you've done. Like this person may be asking for you to just give them another chance and just believe in them again.
to the five of wands i see you guys yeah i see a conversation coming you guys are going to have an argument with someone here this person's watching you they have their eye on you again i feel like somebody is talking about you they're gossiping about you to other people and i feel like they're getting advice and the advice that they're getting from someone is to reach out to you but i feel like them reaching out to you is going to cause an argument i don't feel everyone um that's not what i meant to say <laughs> jim and i i don't feel like all of you have broken up with your person but if you have separated from your person and you haven't talked to them expect the message from them but if you are talking to this person but things are like you know up in the air it's really cloudy you don't know where you guys stand and you can't seem to get to the bottom of what's happening between the two of you. I feel like you will. You will finally talk to this person. I feel like they're going to open up about their feelings, but it may be an argument that ensues either before or after this person opens up. I'm hearing some of you say, all you had to do was tell me that this person may tell you something that you don't know something that was going on that they were hiding from you yeah we had the knight of cups reverse with the eight of swords this king of pentacles is not being honest with you about something with the knight of cups reverse they're really moody and they're just very sometimey right now and you have no clue where you stand with this person and it bothers you and so you're like okay I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm going. You may tell them this. And you telling them this is going to cause this person to open up and tell you something. I feel like it may be through text message, though. I don't feel like this is going to be a phone call. They may tell you something to try to get sympathy out of you. What messages do you have for Gemini? Give me one more for Gemini. The Three of Pentacles reversed with the Four of Cups. Yeah, you don't feel like this can work, and they do. They don't want to give this up. We have the Page of Cups here with the Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords. I see you guys giving someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> like, if either you have already or this is what's coming in. I'm also hearing some of you are going to finally talk to someone and everything that you've been thinking is going to come out. And maybe that's where this argument is going to come in at because you finally tell this person exactly how you feel. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel. But I feel like after the situation, like after the argument, this person's going to try to offer love, but you're still going to feel some sort of way with the Three of Pentacles reversed. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if we can because you tell me one thing and then next week it's another. It's just it's, you don't trust them. Yeah, you're going to be very guarded with this person with the Seven of Wands and the Strength reverse. Because they keep playing games. They're too wishy-washy for you. With the Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands reverse the Strength card. This could be a Leo for some of you. Or a Sagittarius. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Gemini. Thank you for watching my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.